Därför. Good afternoon, Dave. And Good afternoon. Everybody else. <laughs> Very good to see all of you here. I think what we want to accomplish today is just to stand around here and maybe just talk about the principles of business. Okay. I find often that a lot of people, when they come to me and they come for advice and consultation, they want me to go into technical stuff, they want to go into analytics, they want to go into everything. But there's basically a few questions I'd like us to test. And I want you to please remember the three or four questions I'm going to pose to you. Because my view is, regardless of anything technical, if we can fulfill those three questions, understand them and can answer them, then we've, we're going a long way. The rest is all technical detail, and that we'll go through because it's absolutely fantastic to know the technical detail, but I want you to understand the holistic picture of what your business is about. So cool. if you will allow me kindly to go through them, and let's test them, and let's talk through them, and see if, if you feel that these are valuable. Because I can guarantee you, once we've got this done, the rest is just technical. Perfect. Please let me start. I would like to <coughs> just do a question one or two on the board. And sure. I would like you just to attend to them and think about them. Okay. Let's assume this is your business. Okay. In my view, four cornerstones. Okay. Each of them very important. And the first okay. one I'd like you to think about is to say, what is the business of your business? Okay. Let's make a note there. Please excuse the left hand. That's impressive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've often ended up on the right hand side. The first question I'd like you to think about in your business is what is the business of your business? Okay. In banking, where I used to work, this ended up being people giving me answers like we do loans, we do deposits, we do investments, we do everything. Mm. That is not the business of that business. The business of that business is pure and simply to buy and sell money. Okay. And that is the first principle you need to remember. What does your business essentially do for the customer? What is it that you buy? What is it that you sell? The rest of what we can teach you are either for the sake of accountants or the sake of compliance or the sake of risk management, but you need to understand what exactly is it that the customer are coming to you for. If we can't answer that question, it is no use even spending more time. So, unless we can answer this question clearly, we will not proceed. We will talk through it and make sure everybody's got good understanding. But that's essentially where your client needs arise and where you've got to understand what you satisfy for the customer. The second thing is, what makes you, my apologies there, let's correct it. In marketing, they call this a unique selling proposition. Yeah. Ours is a very simple question. What makes you different? Why would this customer who buy your product buy from you and from me? What would make us stand out for him to come to us for? And if we can answer that question, then we know what we're selling. And we immediately know who we're selling it to. And we know why they would be coming to us. And if we don't have something unique, why would that customer come to us at all? Mm. There will be 10,000 options. So it's important for us to know what we're buying and selling because that tells us where to go find those customers. And it also is important for us to know what we can offer him that makes us better than the guy next door. Yeah. The third thing where does cash come from? Where does money come from in this business? We can have a wonderful asset base, we can have wonderful buildings, we can have wonderful stuff, but at the end of the day, this building can, or this business, my apologies, can only operate if we've got enough cash to cover expenses, to pay salaries, to actually market, to go out into the marketplace, to make every one of you, to enable you to go out there and see a customer. So it's very important to understand not what necessarily generates profit, but first what generates enough money in this business to keep it running and to eventually have a profit in 12 months time. That brings us to the next question. If we run this business and we know what we're selling, we know why we're better than other people, we know where we can generate cash so the business can survive, the question always must be in our minds. Where will money come from in five years time? Or if it's a medium term business, three years time. My apologies here. Let's just get this out of the way. All right. And the reason why this is important is because you need to run a business in such a way that actually that business can sustain itself and in three years time we sit in and we actually look at the profit figures and we can build even further on what we have today. 
Given these four aspects of the business summarized, please be so kind as to give me your views on whether you think this is worthwhile and maybe if you want to summarize what this business do, please give me your view. Thank you very much.